thank you to the realistic free-to-play online game War Thunder for sponsoring this Simple History episode. Goliath The SD KFC 302 and 303 Demolition Vehicle World War II The Goliath was one of the most interesting weapons the Germans made during the Second World War. It was a remote-controlled vehicle with an explosive charge that was used by engineers for the demolition of tanks, barricades, bunkers, and other fortified positions. The initial idea wasn't originally German, but French. The French had been developing the device ever since the First World War. Once the Germans conquered France in 1940, they got their hands on a prototype demolition vehicle designed by Adolf Kegres. Interested in the design, the German army ordered the Carl F. W. Borgward Company to build a similar vehicle. The requirements were quite simple. The ordered vehicle had to be remotely operated and be able to carry at least 50 kilograms of explosives. Since there was no haste over the project, Karl Borgward presented his first prototype at the beginning of 1942. It was accepted, and serial production began in April 1942. The German army designated the SDKFZ-302 a light charge carrier, or like the Ladenstrager. The heavy remotely controlled vehicle weighed 370 kilograms, or 820 pounds, and was 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet long, 0.85 meters or 2.8 feet wide, and 0.56 meters or 1.8 feet high. It had two shafts with wheels and tracks. Each of the two tracks was driven by two Bosch 2.5 kilowatt electric motors. These motors allowed a speed of 10 km per hour and a range of 1.5 km on a flat road and 800 meters on terrain. The vehicle was equipped with 60 kg of explosive charge, housed in the front end with the electric motors right behind it. The rear end housed a coil for up to 800 meters of cable with three twisted wires. Two of these were used to control the tracks and the third was used to detonate the charge. Although it had an official designation, the explosive-charged SDKFZ-302 vehicle was better known as Gerat 67, or more famously, the Goliath. Even though they were satisfied with the vehicle, the Army ordered a development of the Goliath that would have had an internal combustion engine which could make it cheaper to produce and have a bigger range in capacity. The first such vehicle was made in April 1943 and was designated as the SDKFZ-303, or Gerat 671, it was driven by a 703cc Zundab SZ7 engine with a total output of 12.5 horsepower. Although the speed remained the same, the new fuel tank of 6 liters allowed a range of 12 kilometers on road and 7 kilometers off road. The new version of the Goliath was also a bit bigger, at 1.62 meters or 5.3 feet long, 0.84 meters or 2.75 feet wide and 0.6 meters or 1.9 feet high, and it could carry 75 kilograms of explosive. Another improved version from November 1944 was developed, known as the SDKFZ 303B, or Garat 672, capable of carrying 100 kilograms of explosive. The total weight of the vehicle was 470 kilograms. During the war, the Germans produced 7,564 Goliaths, but not many of them saw action. This was probably due to their vulnerability. The armor that was 5mm thick on the SDKFZ-302 and 10mm on the SDKFZ-303 was easily penetrated by infantry weapons. The control cable was, however, the weakest factor as it was easily destroyed in battle. Furthermore, Goliaths were too heavy to carry around, so their immobility was another reason why they were not used so frequently. One of the rare records of their use was during the Warsaw Uprising in the summer of 1944, when Germans used Goliaths to destroy street barricades built by Polish resistance. The Goliath was replaced by the end of the war, with the development of the more advanced Springer vehicle. The Goliath is too tiny to be a controllable vehicle in War Thunder, but there's a whole host of famous tanks to play as. War Thunder is a free-to-play military online game available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. We play it on PC every now and then as the username Simple History. The game has a choice of over 1,000 realistic aircraft, tanks, and ships, which you can use to fight in epic battles with tens of thousands of players from all over the world. Use the link in the description below to register and get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus.